my name is Andusias, and I work for the Hamster Pretty Corporation, and we got a plan to take over the world through YouTube. So we need your help to subscribe and become our army of destruction. Welcome. <coughs> Welcome to Hamster Putty. Take it, Jonathan. Take it, y'all. Take it, Jonathan. Take it, Hamster. Hello, my name is Jonathan. And today we're going to see some really fine hamster pictures. Let's start off with this one. This is an eloquent, nice and beautiful hamster. It's big. It was made by Christina Eric's daughter 2002. It's delicate, it's old, it's eight years old, but it does the trick. Let's move on here. As you see, that is not a hamster. We don't know what that is. But under here, we have another hamster. And this is a very interesting picture. Because the, this hamster is actually have its own table with a flower in its hand. Does it stand for peace? No one knows. Let's move on. Let's see. He, here, we have a picture of me when I was a little boy. And beside it is a hamster. Isn't that interesting? Now, don't mind the Pokemon, I don't know why it's there. Moving on, we have a delicate and beautiful painting in strong colors, which intervals the contrast around the hamster. And, oh, look at this. It is glue beneath the paint, which makes a very dramatic 3D experience while watching this beautiful and delicate painting. Move on. Here's just a fat woman breastfeeding. Mo moving on to this very delicate hamster pig. A more lighter part of the light that revolves around the painting. <laughs> it feels very curious the of fruits that have been transplanted in front of the nose of the hamster. And this very weird Japanese toy which the artist of this decided to have a a toy and over here we have a goat and an elsh but still look at this beautiful painting of the hamster it's amazing amazing and look at this beautiful photography of an artist I have known my entire life it's a hamster with the Dwarf tomatoes in his mouth. And here we have a duck. So, how did the hamster putting start? You know, it started out like a, just a kind of a fun thing, you know, uploading uh, our, you know, uh, our world, our normal day that we saw it or dreamed about. I don't know, it, um, it got serious in the end. We started doing a lot of movies and working day and night and uh, he used all my money. He stole my mother's credit card number, actually, and took her money as well for a movie called Me and My Grandpa. And, uh, yeah, perhaps it was worth it in the end, but, uh, I don't know. He hurt a lot of people to get as many subscribers as we did. So. Yeah, it was, a, it was a very serious project. I always wanted to do this because there was a lot of douchebags in, in, on YouTube who had a lot of subscribers and they even made money on YouTube. So, you know, we, we, we began with, uh, yeah, this account and um, we hope to...
get a lot of subscribers and maybe make some money for it. You know, I don't, I don't do this for free, but uh, yeah. How is it to work with Joel? Uh, Joel is a very interesting person. You know, he takes his job very seriously. Uh, it's not a joke about filming or anything. If he says, oh, you're going to do a sketch now, you have to be there in like 10 seconds or you rip your fucking head off. Jonathan, he's a real pussy. He, 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 doesn't, he just take order from me and he called me a douchebag, but he doesn't do anything. He's like, he's a crybaby, you know. I need to, I need to wake him up, wake him up like four in the morning, and then beat him the hell out of him with a baseball bat. But uh, he's an interesting person, and uh, I respect him. And uh, well, you know, look at us now. We have the amazing, the uh, hamster pudding account on YouTube, and we have so many subscribers. I mean. There's no way I could have got uh, like nine subscribers without his help. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah. What's your future project? Uh, well, uh, the future, well, um, well, I don't know, uh, really. Uh, I'm actually planning to leave the hamster party because uh, you always a fucking asshole. I mean, he's always being there. And, uh, Bouncing in my fucking head and uh, just being such an asshole. Perhaps douchebag would be best for television. Uh. Yeah, I hope to leave this town and leave uh, Jonathan. Uh, I want to, you know, work with the big guys and make a lot of money because I don't care about the movies. I don't care about money. You know, you don't care about you worry. You just care about money. Everyone care, cares about money. You know, <laughs> that's how it is. He's so evil, you know, he's like Satan himself, you know. How did you meet Joel? Yeah, you know, uh, it started in kindergarten when I met Joel. Uh, oh, we're, we're best friends and um, we had a lot of fun playing Legos and stuff. And um, then when we reached the fifth grade, we made our first movie. We called The Karate Kid. And it was not a remake, it was kind of like our own. Yeah. I met Jonathan in, um, he said I met him, I met him in, in kindergarten, but I, f I don't really remember him. I, rem I remember him from the fifth grade, we made a movie called The Karate Kid. It, it, was, his, it was his idea. We, we were at his grandpa's house and uh, well, like we didn't have anything to do, so he came up with the idea. Well, let's make a karate movie and I just, oh my god, no. And uh, yeah, he was just a child, you know. I was young too, I was in the same age, but he was more like a child. I was, I was more like grown up, you know. And uh, after that, it's been developing, we're changing a lot of equipment and uh, ideas. And for some reason, you know, we never really had that going to make movies. We always planned movies, but sometimes they simply never happened. Uh, but then it happened. We really started to make it sketches, and it was with the uh, hamster pudding. And uh, ever since then, it's been an asshole. You know, douchebag.